All right, we're at Jansen Beach, pushing out. So Marvin, we call this rod on the job. So okay. I'm gonna learn how to fish, I'm gonna learn how to be a guide today. Okay. Did you learn as a kid? Yeah, I fished my whole life. Used to ride my bike down to the water and fish. And now here I am 23 years later guiding. Classic case of something I love, let's see if I can make a living at it. Yeah, and it's got as good and bad. Raining, not raining. Do the fish care what the weather is? Well, as long as it's consistent. That's the question for you. When the barometer is going up and down, it changes the fish. When we have like these storms of one minute sunny, one minute it's raining, it does throw it off the bike. Today we're going down to St. John's. Yeah. We're going there because you got a tip. Columbia is only 50 degrees right now. When this water warms up, the sturgeon will be out of Columbia. Right now the Willamette's running a little bit warmer. They're going to be in there. Let's say you have six people on. They've okay. all paid. You said an average cost for seven, eight hours? About two twenty-five. About two twenty-five per person. Yep. So I paid my two twenty-five. I can't tell you how upset I'm going to be if we go out and I don't catch a fish. Well, it's it's fishing. Like I always tell people, it's like going to a casino. You're you're gambling. You're going to go out here. You're going to have a nice boat. You're going to have good fishing, and I'm going to give you the best opportunity possible. The main tip is uh, good bait. Don't get me wrong. Stinky bait works. But I always look at it like this. Would you rather have that fresh steak or that one that's been sitting for a week? I'm watching people bite the heads off of fish that they're going to use for bait. Yeah, it's good luck. Because it's good luck. You know what I didn't mind as a kid? Mrs. Paul's fish sticks. I didn't appreciate them at the time, but thinking back, they were pretty doggone tasty. And this is just on sonar right here, and that's what we're after. You guys ready? I'll take a thumb off it. Ho oh, oh. ho! Did you go over that line? But that's okay. Wait, no, over what line? No, let it keep going. I thought that was fantastic. Oh shoot, that wasn't very good. Ah. What was that? I, I'd reel that up and start over. Well, I'm better the other way. I think I'm dominant right here. Hey, hey, wait, just you gotta bite. You gotta bite him. I gotta the bite. Yeah, come, come on. Jerk it. He's there. Jerk, jerk, jerk. Right now? Ah. Fish on. <laughs> okay, I've seen this in the movies. <laughs> yeah, now pull up slowly. Uh, Stop oh, reeling. Oh, oh. It's only reel when you go up, and then go down. And now go down again. Yeah, reel, reel, reel. And then pull up. All right, I got you. You gotta say fastactionfishing.com. Fast action, is that your website, Marty? Yeah, yeah. Fastactionfishing.com. Oh my right, gosh, look at that. Back up down to that side of the boat, okay. and I'll bring him in. We don't ever want to touch their gills, so we're gonna be real careful with these fish. That is the fish that I caught. Touch my hand as hard as you can to squeeze. And then put the other hand underneath him. Right there? Yeah, you don't want to touch the gills. Oh my gosh, he's gonna slip. Let's take him back to the side, we're gonna let him go nice. Those are sharp. Here's another one. Oh my gosh, Marvin. <laughs> That's how easy those hooks come out because they're barbless. Look at that, it's a beautiful fish. Whoa, that is a bigger one. Okay, we're not gonna bring that one in the boat just because we don't want to hurt him. What I don't believe in is hurting a fish for the trophy shot. How long have you been out here, Marvin? Half hour. Half hour, we've caught three or four? Four. four. We've caught four, four and the biggest one was that five and a half footer. Yeah, five and a half to six foot. Which is roughly our size. <laughs> yeah. Good day, gentlemen. Woo! Perfect. Okay.